Hi, I'm Rachel, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about VA.gov. I imagine if you're here watching this video that you are about to embark on a journey of building features and functionality on the modernized VA.gov website. That is really awesome news. Welcome. We're glad to have you. You may know this about VA.gov already, but there are a myriad of things that veterans and their family members come onto the site to do. They can apply for health care. They can apply for education benefits. They can track the status of their applications. They can look for VA facilities that might be close to them. Uh, just to name a few, there are tons of other things that people can come onto the site to do. So all of that is to say that the functionality that you're about to create is one small but important part of a much larger whole. There are over 90 different features that are currently live on VA.gov today. So before you start to think about what your feature might look like and what it might do, it's really important to understand globally how VA.gov works and what some of the global functionality on the site is so that your feature can play into that instead of being a siloed experience that may look like the rest of the site, but, um, but have a, a disparate flow. That's the type of thing that we don't want to happen. With all these teams contributing functionality to the site, it's really important that the site continues to have a seamless and unified experience for the people interacting with it. So without further ado, I am going to show you just some of the global functionality that exists on VA.gov today. Um, so that you can use that as a jumping off point, continue to do your own research from there before you start to design out what your feature and functionality is gonna be. So I'm gonna share my screen. This may look familiar to you, but this is the VA.gov homepage. Um, this is just a staging site that I'm showing you right now, but it looks like the real deal. I'm signed in as a test user. So any information that you see on here is completely uh, mocked information. There's no uh, real person that I'm signed in as. So as you can see, here's the homepage. Um, if you click on VA benefits and healthcare, that's where you can see all of the tons of things that you can do to uh, manage, get access to and manage benefits as a user of this site. Um, so there, there are lots of different things. That's one thing to notice is to start thinking about is how your uh, feature is going to fit in with the information architecture of the rest of the site because there are menus at the top and there are also ways to browse um, uh, at different spaces on the home page. Uh, another thing I want to show you is my VA. So if you are signed in, you can go to my VA and it gives you kind of a look across the different things that you may have in progress. So this person doesn't have any claims and appeals in progress, but you can check the status of your claim there. You can also see all of your in-progress applications. So it doesn't matter if I've applied for healthcare, disability compensation, education, pension benefits, burial benefits, all of those things are gonna appear in this applications in progress area. So that's a really important piece of global functionality if you're creating a new form to go on va.gov you're gonna to need to play into this global experience and make sure that your form and progress shows up here. Uh, another interesting thing to take a look at is the profile. So if we look at this person's profile, this is where all of their phone number and address and email address information shows up. So um, VA uses uh, the individual's address and email and phone number information for a lot of different things to mail benefits out to communicate about the status of benefits all of that um, so it's really important that if you are building functionality on the site that enables a veteran to update any of their personal contact information that you play into this experience as well so that it's unified in one place um, another thing i want to take a look at is the letters functionality so here I'm showing you the download VA benefit letters um, product on the website. And this is a space where veterans can log in and view any letters that VA has sent to them. So these are like award documents, proof of eligibility, that kind of thing. So if we look in this list of letters, there are a myriad of things and these are all, you know, the actual um, uh, letters from the VA with the VA seal and everything that veterans can use um, as, you know, proof of eligibility for certain things. So the list goes on and on. So if you have a type of document 
that you need to make sure that veterans can download from the website. Um, this is a really important product to be aware of because perhaps you want your letter to show up in this list as opposed to a separate siloed place on the site. Um, let's see, another thing that I wanna show you is how facilities works. So if you click on find a VA location, this is where veterans can come and search for all different kinds of facilities that might be close to them. So if we search for urgent care near Washington, DC, the map will zoom us into the different urgent care spaces close by within a certain radius. So if you have any location related functionality um, that you might be incorporating into the website, this is a really important global experience to be aware of. Another is search. So um, I'm actually gonna go to the live website to show you this, because you don't need to be logged in for facilities or search. So if we go to va.gov and we go to search, let's say I'm curious to see my education benefit status. You can see there are all kinds of links from the site that appear here and you can configure any page that you're working on to populate up higher in the search results based on certain keywords. So if you've done the research to know what um, people are gonna search for to find the content that you're putting out there, you can use that to customize the search results experience for your page as well. So that's another important um, global element to be aware of. Another that I won't screen share here, but um, it's our notifications functionality. So if you need to send out email alerts or text alerts about different aspects of your functionality to veterans, um, perhaps to update them on the status of a thing or to confirm that their application went through, there is a global notifications tool that we use so that people are getting consistent notifications in a consistent way whether they're applying for disability compensation, education benefits, whatever the case may be. Um, so I think that's a good summary for now of all of the different uh, parts of the va.gov website. There's so much more. I mean, I just scratched the surface on the types of things that you can do on the website as a, as a user of the website. So you all watching this video, if you're building functionality on va.gov, make sure that you take the time to click around on the site and understand what the experience of navigating through that site is like so that you can tailor the functionality that you're building to that wider global experience instead of having it be something really separate. And with that, I will leave you to it. Have a great time going through the collaboration cycle. And as always, if you have any questions, simply ask them in our VFS platform support channel in Slack. Thanks, have a good day.